Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Access, you're using and manipulating a contained collection of smaller objects. This contained collection is the database. Although the terms database and table are often used interchangeably, in Access you should refer to the entire collection of tables, queries, forms, reports, macros, and modules as the actual database, and only refer to tables as tables for clarity's sake. So when most people think of a database, they only think of the tables that are the building blocks of a database. A table is simply a collection of information about a certain subject, like your customers, your vendors, or your suppliers. A table consists of columns and rows into which we store data. The columns all contain only one type of data, and are called fields. For example, in a customer database, you might have a contact name field where you place your cust customer's contact names. The rows in a table all contain one set of related field information for a single entry and are called records. So for example in a customer database you may have a customer record that contains all of the field information for that selected customer in a single row. Now access is also what is referred to as a relational database program. In a relational database, you store large amounts of data into the smallest possible increments, which then become the tables in your database. You then relate these tables together by joining common fields that these tables share. In this way, you store less redundant data, and your database will operate more quickly and efficiently. When you relate tables, you are able to then access data in any of the tables and find the relationship between any two pieces of data. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.